What's up YouTube? I just got pushed 10.12.2, so let's get started. So first of all, uh, this is a route that I made a, a bet with Value Analyst One on Twitter. I'll link the tweet in the description that uh, he believes that we'll be able to do this route with uh, level three, uh, no interventions, no disengagements by the end of next year. Um, it's a pretty challenging route. We have sort of a low visibility turn here. FSD is going to be a little wobbly. And the creeping also was not correct, in my opinion, but whatever. This, there's very little uh, traffic in the neighborhood right now. There is up ahead, as you can see. Anyway, my bet with him is that that's totally not going to happen uh, based on my own experiences. We are improving pretty well, but... Uh, we're also like sort of seesawing between a lot of other uh, behaviors with FSD otherwise. So here's the big one. This whole build is about unprotected lefts. So I'm not clear on the right. It's creeping. This is definitely better creeping. Uh, we're in the lane. We need to go. Curious if it's gonna go over here. No. All right, so there's one disengagement. I'm gonna go ahead and get over to the right as well. FSD likes to hang out in the left lane and go much slower than everyone else. I'm gonna go ahead and report that. It may be a little late for them to see that. For some reason, uh, 10.11, really, really all of them except I think 10.5, which I'll uh, ship in a card. Um, they all want to drive in this middle lane and that lane's not for driving. The maximum you can, the maximum distance you can go in that is a hundred feet. But when it's clear, we don't even need to use the middle lane. We can go into this lane right here. So at least in my area, it's still not a solved problem. It being unprotected lifts. So that's obviously the first uh, big challenge for this drive. I'll be covering uh, that turn exclusively in a, its own separate video. It might be a short video based on our experience there. I'm surprised it's not trying to go around. It is a very tiny space, but we do have the space. There's also no blinker. Uh, FSD typically does not uh, put a blinker on for these like you know lanes that you can just choose basically anytime there's a lane choice per se uh it doesn't use its blinker which i don't think is cool i think anytime we're switching lanes or doing a you know maneuver like a like to get onto a different road or something we need to use the blinker you can see here it just goes over So this route also has a lot of uh, challenges with shadows. So I expect to see some phantom braking. Um, there's also some, lots of oncoming traffic. Uh, you'll see a lot of people have issues with this. You can see it kind of slowed down for no reason here. Lots of people have been having issues with uh, phantom braking for oncoming traffic this way on two lane roads. And I specifically put us in rush hour to make sure that we, you know, don't just get FSD kind of going on its own through a course, but we have it through, you know, real world situations with traffic. I think it did pretty well there. It definitely was an improvement over 10.11.2. So here we, we slowed down for them. You could say it slowed down for the curve, but didn't it, it slowed down when it saw the cars not when it saw the curve and you can see we're taking this curve all the way at 35 so it's still a little skittish of cars i will say that the phantom part of the braking has been much improved it's it's more of a slow down just to assess the situation i guess we're also pretty glued to these lane lines i'm, I'm impressed 
So here's a turn. It does have visibility, but you can see on the 3D camera, there's a lot of brush. So I can't see right now. It's creeping. It just went. And there was someone behind us. They were far enough away. I need to look at the video afterward to see, you know, if it was going. I know uh, in one release note, I think in 10.11, or maybe earlier, they uh, increase the amount of jerk, which basically means the bounds, of the, the speed at which you can uh, creep. Um, and so you saw it, it crept pretty fast there. But I like that when it did it, it committed. That's been a serious issue that uh, a lot of people have definitely uh, been reporting is much better on 10.12 to the edge there. I'm going to go ahead and snapshot that. So this is a low visibility situation. There's also no lane lines here. And yep. Okay, so cool. I didn't have to disengage there. I was trying to <laughs> and FSD corrected itself. Uh, but yeah, it should not go into the middle of the road there just because the lane lines disappeared. Uh, this is wrong. This is, that's wrong. That's not where you go for this this route. And another big, like serious problem that we're experiencing is lane selection. There's no reason to pick the wrong lane there. So we should have right of way. It's still trying to go around, no. All right. And yeah, you can see <laughs> the kind of issues that this behavior is causing. I also have a bumper sticker on my car specifically. I have a 3D camera on my car that specifically shows the situation. Like, I feel like I'm yelling into a void here, but these are serious issues that are just not being solved in relation to, to lane selection and things like that. I know Tesla has been working for a long time on visibility and cognition of objects and things like that. And because they chose their, their camera suite as their primary, you know, way of object detection, I understand, but it's, it's holding them back on just simple issues of routes. So I got really close over there. I am also disengaging this way too fast for a train track. Getting a little bit of phantom braking here. I will say it is doing much better with staying inside the lines more than usual. These actually look fresh. So I'm pretty sure these weren't here before. I can check uh, Google Maps, maybe link that in the description. So I'm gonna edit the trip and take away. The uh, waypoint I had to make sure we went this route. This is the fastest route, especially during a rush hour. You can see the highway was dark red. getting way too close to the edges over here I'm not even snapshotting that or anything because it's a it's part of Tesla's uh, like navigation algorithm the like how it plots the car through uh, spaces I, th I think it's an efficiency thing where I don't know who is watching this that has raced or you know done any sort of uh, like go-karting or something, but that is the most efficient route to, you know, to get somewhere. Just to stay on the outside, go on the apex, and then, you know, exit on the outside. So I really think that it's just trying to take the optimum route, but that's very uncomfortable for a human. But we'll say that this is probably the most comfortable version so far, which is nice. That's been a thing I've been harping on since 10.3 when I got this software. The 
And by that, I mean like the, the wheel jerk has been reduced. It's been my biggest issue. Normally I'd put this uh, up to 40, but we haven't seen anyone behind us quite a while, so I don't know, I'm enjoying this nice smooth ride for the most part. Yeah, these lines are definitely fresh. Maybe they'll be faded by the end of 2023. <laughs> okay, so here's another uh, light. It's kind of an odd angle. It shouldn't be a problem for FSD, but at least with the wheel jerk it has in the in the past. It's at least selecting the right uh, you know lane to go in. So it is a ride on red, we can go, but we have no visibility. I definitely can't see. We have a car behind us, so I'm just gonna nudge it along. And I still can't see, but now I can. And it's still not going, so I'm just gonna nudge it through before I cause another road rage incident. It's a Porsche behind me. I'm sure they know how to drive and want me to be a little more expedited. This is an interesting line. I'm not sure what this is for. Probably a turn lane over here. It's just kind of an issue that we have in Atlanta where we have such sprawl that, you know, there's faded lane lines everywhere. And I really think that there's two ways to solve a huge phantom brake there. Um, one with, you know, some sort of memory, uh, whether it's local for, you know, the individual car you're driving or if it's sort of global through a Tesla map, uh, you know, to remember what lanes are at least supposed to be there. And then you can reassess, you know, once you encounter a situation that maybe differs from the, the map that you have cached. But the fact that we're driving everywhere for the first time makes no sense to me. I think it's more of a, a way to force engineers to make the vision detection as good as humans because there is no crutch to, you know, use to go ahead and get as good as possible with a map. It makes sense from a management perspective, but from a finished product, you know, level four perspective, it's just absolutely insane to not use some form of higher definition map where you've driven before. I mean, it's common knowledge that if you've driven a route before, you know, you're going to be better at it the next time. You're going to remember nuance about it. So here we go. We just went out of the lane. And it's going crazy. It's uh, almost disengaged. We're going right up to the line again. My hands are on the wheel. I don't know if anyone can see it. I basically kind of palm the wheel like this and take over whenever I think it's absolutely necessary. I'll have to redo this route and not try to nudge it forward at that red light earlier because maybe it knew that it couldn't see. I think that's a feature that I've really wanted them to have that at least is just better tuned where it knows that it doesn't have visibility of the road and so it doesn't commit. Um, let's see what it does here. This is not a stop sign. We're supposed to just keep going. And that's okay. All right, we need to get in the left, good. But anyway, maybe it has that uh, feature properly tuned, at least when it absolutely cannot see, uh, when it, where it doesn't even see the roadway. And I just, you know, sort of frustratingly pushed it through in a situation where it didn't feel comfortable. It didn't say, like, press the accelerator to continue or anything. That's why I thought that it was necessary to do so. Um, anyway, that's my reasoning. All right, we're going to go now to the most difficult part of the drive, even more so than the unprotected left. So there's lots of lanes to choose from here. We need to be in a very specific one to do the maneuver. Tesla has actually chosen the hardest, hardest maneuver. 
Okay, we're not in the right one. So this is to go left. And we can do that. We can go left here and then go uh, into the Whole Foods parking lot, but it's chosen to, and I'll, I'll put a link in the description of what it's chosen, but it basically wants to get in a middle turn lane here that is very high traffic and then uh, and then take a left into a, a like basement parking lot. That's what I do, but it's very difficult. Okay, so it does want to correct itself. We'll go ahead and send a snapshot for that just to make sure that they see the lane selection error. And I'm glad it corrected itself. That's cool. I'm curious what it would have done if it ended up in that left lane. Obviously, some people have reported that, you know, it, like, wants to go straight or, you know, turn right or something, like, when it's in the wrong lane, and that's super dangerous. So I'm glad we at least didn't have to see that. Um, but like I said, what we're about to see is a very risky maneuver. I'm basically just expecting to have to disengage. And this is a big reason why I selected this route for this bet. Okay, I'm not sure what just happened. And let's see if it chooses the right place. It does, but it's not getting over. I have someone behind me and this person is waving me. Thank you. So you could say I fudged it by taking over. Uh, I'll show in the 360 cam that there was someone like right behind me. I'm not about to cause a road rage incident again in the same video. So that's on the way over here. That's the route value analysts. I'll see you. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Man. I can't wait until V11 when it can actually navigate parking lots. I'm honestly really worried about that because there's just so many things that you can run into. I feel like it's much more challenging than the streets. It's often not really uh, organized as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on this stuff, like like make it out to the road just because there's so many things here. And right here, this is like a weird intersection with a uh, don't block the box. You got to get over into this right turn lane. And then here, there's just so much traffic. It's one of those places where you just basically have to give someone an offer they can't refuse. Uh, you know, when you have a gap. So I just really don't feel comfortable letting the software handle this. Should be one here. Yep. Okay, cool. So from here, I'll enable, and FSD should be able to drive us home. I do like the improved visualizations. They're uh, much more, I want to say static, that's not the right word. They're just more permanent. They stick around for longer. Uh, not as much as fuzzy, which is good. That means the, the system has more confidence. I guess with the higher frame rate, it makes sense but obviously they did change the assets and stuff like that as well. Let's see, pick the correct lane. It's gonna miss it. I think I would... Is that the right way? I need to look at the maps and see if that's the right way. That is the right way because you can't turn right right here. So yeah, I think it I think it shows the wrong lane. And yeah, now you see it's trying to get over. I'm gonna see if I can get it across. Had to use the accelerator there to get out in front of that truck. Needs to turn left here. Uh, man, it's really not confident right there. 
it's in a snapshot. Okay, I've got a lot more traffic behind me this time. So I may bump it up to 40 depending on their appetite for speed. I don't mean to say that uh, to like give into peer pressure or anything, but uh, basically I, I don't want to cause any road rage. You saw on the way over here, you know, what angering someone in Atlanta causes them to do. I mean, that person was looking at me uh, when they were across the intersection. They weren't thinking about, you know, someone was running the red light or anything like that. You know, basically you want to be as courteous to other drivers as possible. What the f Pardon my language, I'll beep that out. That was just completely unnecessary. Yeah, I've got a long line of cars behind me now. I don't want to go faster than 40 though. School's not in session, so that school zone speed doesn't mean uh, anything right now, but that is one thing that I believe they have not yet solved, is school zone speeds. Pretty important for level 4, or level 3 for that matter. Okay, so we should get into this left-hand turn lane. And we are a little squirrely, much more appreciated to be more decisive next time. Leaving this big of a gap is good for if our car stalls or something, but it's not good for the people behind us just in case they need to pile in. We're probably going to cut this line here. I really don't like that behavior. It needs to go around. Uh, that's one of the causes of the uh, jerky steering wheel for me. Otherwise, it's like it begins the maneuver that way, realizes that there's a car in the way, and then jerks hard over and then jerks hard back, when if it just plotted where the lanes are, it would be so much smoother. That's how I drive. I know a lot of people would disagree with me there. That's a driving style issue. I will say at least I'm guessing that it's the improved frame rate, but the uh, smoothness is just way better. Also, again, could be because these uh, lane lines are, are fresh. Oh wow, we're even trying to go over them even with the lane lines. But it's, I don't know, it's just sticking inside this, this lane really, really stiffly and really well. Like, uh, I don't know, it feels good, it, fe it feels safe. I feel safe when, you know, you can tell that it's like trying to be inside of a track. Again, I hate the sort of going over the edge of the turn there, but. It still feels like it knows the, you know, where the boundaries are. And it's also uh, much more smoothly going within them. Okay, you see how everyone else is slowing down here? Remember back to the other part of the video where it did not slow down that much. This is how, like, these are super bumpy. It's bad for your suspension if you go over them, you know, faster than we were going. I really feel like train tracks Tesla just doesn't address yet. Okay, this is an unprotect, well, it's a four-way stop. smooth this is. It's arguably really smooth. Cool. I've seen that on videos earlier and I, I feel like I feel that, you know, personally in this ride is the, uh, the left turns have, have gotten much smoother. Uh, aside from that thing I was talking about earlier where it aims for the inside of the line occasionally. Let's see how it handles this intersection. This is kind of a poorly designed intersection.
where there's no stop sign here. All right, I'm pushing the accelerator. There's someone behind me. And I don't know why we're stopping so hard. I'm riding the accelerator right now. No. I'm also not trying to go around them. We need to stay in our lane. So this is related to the stacking I'll show behind me, but basically there's a long line of cars behind me. If I like sit way back from this truck, then that, you know, means a road, like a, like a car behind me may be stuck in the intersection or, or, you know, obviously ideally they would be stuck at the stop sign behind the intersection blocking another set of traffic. But you know, that's why Atlanta has so many don't block the box boxes with the X through it is, uh, it's so easy to get caught with all these like quick uh, turns after turns just stuck in an intersection during high traffic and so it's kind of a requisite here to get semi close I mean I'm not I'm not even close to this guy's bumper but I'm at least you know double like like I'm halfway between where we were and where we are now is plotting it well other than that jerk there it didn't feel too uncomfortable though which is nice okay this is where I expect to see a little bit of a uh, phantom braking here we did not need the blinker there I, I feel like I've already maxed out my number of snapshots to send back to them I still have yet to get an answer from a Tesla employee on, you know, what the maximum number of snapshots you can have at a time are, but there is a limit. I'm going to bump it up to 40 to be courteous to the people behind me. Okay, this is a somewhat challenging left. <laughs> at least for FSD in the past. I hate that we're still bananaing out there, but it was a very smooth turn. We don't need to go out to go in. I don't know why that started. I do understand that it sort of smoothens out the turn, but especially if there's a second lane over there, it's a horrible idea. You're driving into traffic. I'll link that in, the, in, the, in a card. Okay, here's our turn back onto South Cobb. This time we're protected with a with a traffic light. And it's on a hill, so that'll be fun. Looks like we'll also be able to test the uh, entrance to the neighborhood, which I don't know how many people saw that, but I tried to turn, given a right turn lane, I tried to turn right into a neighborhood using the middle turn lane two lanes over. I really hope I don't see that again. we do it is a left turn light that's good so we should be good to just go without seeing traffic we're gonna majorly cut off this line and you can see the jerks start to happen because it's like how did I get here <laughs> all right so sort of a repeat of a previous video we need to get over in the right lane there's no reason to be here we're going way too slow for the speed demons in the back who want to use this lane. Thankfully there are none right now, so I'm just going to let the car do its thing. But there's absolutely zero reason to be in this lane right now. Now we're 40, so we're going super slow for this lane. So I'm curious uh, what the error was, if it was a nav issue, if it was a neural network issue, we, ab we get absolutely zero communication back from the mothership, so it's hard to know what caused it. All right, we're at least getting in the right lane and we're getting into the correct lane. Excellent. I'll need to test that more to see if it's actually fixed, <laughs> but that's what it's supposed to do. And it executed it pretty well. Uh, I mean, it was fine. I wouldn't have talked about that in any other video if, uh, if, if it hadn't happened before. It's really being in the left lane that I just don't understand. I 
It is trash day, so I'm curious how well it's going to handle bins that are in the road. I haven't seen any, thankfully. It's actually, tomorrow is the day the trash comes, so that's why they're in a tidy spot. Okay, cool. Well, that's it. Thanks, guys, for being along. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.